What is the name of the bird that perches on the black rhinoceros's back? The bird, a relative of the starling, is called an oxpecker, a member of the Sternidae family. Found only in Africa, the yellow-billed oxpecker, Bufagus africanus wingspan, is widespread over much of western and central Africa, while the red-billed oxpecker, Bufagus erythroincus wingspan, lives in eastern Africa from the Red Sea to Natal. 7 to 8 in, 17 to 20 centimeters, long with a coffee brown body. The oxpecker feeds on more than 20 species of ticks that live in the height of the black rhinoceros. Dicerus bicornis, also called the hook-lipped rhino. The bird spends most of its time on the rhinoceros or on other animals. Such as the antelope, zebra, giraffe, or buffalo. The bird has even been known to roost on the body of its host. The relationship between the oxpecker and the rhinoceros is called mutualism. The bird feeds on the rhinoceros's ticks benefiting both the bird and the rhinoceros. In addition, the oxpecker, having much better eyesight than the nearsighted rhinoceros, alerts its host with its shrill cries and flight when danger approaches. What is the name of the bird that perches on the black rhinoceros's back? The bird, a relative of the starling, is called an oxpecker, a member of the Sternidae family. Found only in Africa, the yellow-billed oxpecker, Bufagus africanus wingspan is widespread over much of western and central Africa, while the red-billed oxpecker Bufagus erythroincus wingspan, lives in eastern Africa from the Red Sea to Natal. 7 to 8 in, 17 to 20 centimeters, long with a coffee brown body. The oxpecker feeds on more than 20 species of ticks that live in the height of the black rhinoceros. Dicerus bicornis, also called the hook-lipped rhino. The bird spends most of its time on the rhinoceros or on other animals. Such as the antelope, zebra, giraffe, or buffalo. The bird has even been known to roost on the body of its host. The relationship between the oxpecker and the rhinoceros is called mutualism. The bird feeds on the rhinoceros's ticks, benefiting both the bird and the rhinoceros. In addition, the oxpecker, having much better eyesight than the nearsighted rhinoceros, alerts its host with its shrill cries and flight when danger approaches. What is unusual about the fish tapeworm? The fish tapeworm is the largest cesto that infects humans. It can grow to a length of 66 feet 20 meters. By comparison, the beef tapeworm may only reach a length of 33 feet 10 meters. Are tortoises and terrapins the same as turtles?
The terms turtle, tortoise, and terrapin are used for various members of the order Testudinas. From the Latin term testudo, meaning tortoise. In North American usage they are all correctly called turtles. The term tortoise is often used for land turtles. In British usage the term tortoise is the inclusive term. And turtle is only applied to aquatic members of the order. What are the major characteristics of all chordates? All chordates share a notochord, dorsal nerve cord, and pharyngeal gill pouches. The notochord, a cartilaginous supporting rod, runs along the dorsal part of the body. It is always found in embryos, but in most vertebrates it is replaced. During development by a backbone of bony or cartilaginous vertebrae. The tubular dorsal nerve cord, dorsal to the notochord, is formed during development by an enfolding of the ectoderm. In vertebrates the nerve cord eventually becomes encased and thus protected by the backbone. The pharyngeal gill pouches appear during embryonic. Development on both sides of the throat region, the pharynx. Are turtles endangered? Worldwide turtle populations have declined due to several reasons. Including habitat destruction, exploitation of species by humans for their eggs, leather, and meat and they're becoming accidentally caught in the nets of fishermen. In particular danger are sea turtles, such as Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Lepidoshellus kempii, which is believed to have a population of only a few hundred. Other threatened species include the Central American river turtle, Dermatemis maywii. The green sea turtle, Chelonia mitas, the leatherback sea turtle, Geochelone inifora, the desert tortoise, Gophorus agassizii, and the Galapagos tortoise, Geochelone elephantopus. Source, U.S. How are birds related to dinosaurs? Birds are essentially modified dinosaurs with feathers. Robert T. Backer, 1945, and John H. Ostrom, 1928. Did extensive research on the relationship between birds and dinosaurs in the 1970s and concluded that the bony structure of small dinosaurs was very similar to Archaeopteryx. The first animal classified as a bird, but that dinosaur fossils showed no evidence of feathers. They proposed that birds and dinosaurs evolved from the same source. What three groups are included in the flapworms? Flatworms belong to the phylum platyhelminthes. They are flat, elongated, 
achylomate animals that exhibit bilateral symmetry and have primitive organs. The members of the flatworms are, 1, planar eons, 2, flukes, and 3, tapeworms. How are coral reefs formed and how fast are they built? Coral reefs grow only in warm, shallow water. The calcium carbonate skeletons of dead corals serve as a framework, upon which layers of successively younger animals attach themselves. Such accumulations, combined with rising water levels, slowly lead to the formation of reefs that can be hundreds of meters deep and long. The coral animal, or polyp, has a columnar form, its lower end is attached to the hard floor of the reef, while the upper end is free to extend into the water. A whole colony consists of thousands of individuals. There are two kinds of corals, hard and soft, depending on the type of skeleton secreted. The polyps of hard corals deposit around themselves a solid skeleton of calcium carbonate. Chalk, so most swimmers see only the skeleton of the coral. The animal is in a cup-like formation into which it withdraws during the daytime. The major reef builder in Florida and Caribbean waters, Montastria nullaris. Star coral, requires about 100 years to form a reef just 3 feet 1 meter high. Do all starfishes, or sea stars, have five arms? Starfishes, or sea stars, are members of the class Asteroidea. Their bodies consist of a central disc from which radiate from five to more than twenty arms or rays. What invertebrate lives in both marine and fresh waters and is one of the most important of all animals? Copepods, tiny crustaceans, are the link between the photosynthetic life in the ocean or pond and the rest of the aquatic food web. They are primary consumers grazing on algae in the waters of the oceans and ponds. These organisms, among the most abundant multicellular animals on Earth, are then consumed by a variety of small predators, which are eaten by larger predators, and so on. Virtually all animal life in the ocean depends on the copepods, either directly or indirectly. Although humans do not eat copepods directly, our sources of food from the ocean would disappear without the copepods. Fish and Wildlife Service What is the most successful and diverse group of terrestrial vertebrates? Birds, members of the class Aves, are the most successful of all terrestrial vertebrates. There are 28 orders of living birds with almost 10. 000 species distributed over almost the entire Earth. 
the success of birds is basically due to the development of the feather. Why is Archaeopteryx important? Archaeopteryx is the first known bird. It had true feathers that provided insulation and allowed this animal to form scoops with its wings for catching prey. How are ants distinguished from termites? Both insect orders ants, order Hymenoptera, and termites. Order Isoptera, have segmented bodies with multi-jointed legs. Listed below are some differences. What accounts for the different colors of bird feathers? The vivid color of feathers is of two kinds, one, pigmentary, and two, structural. Red, orange and yellow feathers are colored by pigments called Lipochromes deposited in the feather barbules as they are formed. Black, brown, and gray colors are from another pigment, melanin. Blue feathers depend not on pigment but on scattering of shorter wavelengths of light by particles within the feather. These are structural feathers. Green colors are almost always a combination of yellow pigment and blue feather structure. Another kind of structural color is the beautiful iridescent color of many birds, which ranges from red, orange, copper, and gold to green, blue, and violet. Iridescent color is based on interference that causes light waves to reinforce weaken, or eliminate each other. Iridescent colors may change with the angle of view. What bird has the biggest wingspan? Three members of the albatross family, the wandering albatross, Diomede exculens, the royal albatross, Diomede epomophora, and the Amsterdam island albatross, Diomeda amsterdiamensis, have the greatest wingspan of any bird species with a spread of 8 to 11 feet, 2.5 to 3.3 m. What is the largest leech? Most leeches are between 75 in and 2 in, 2 and 6 centimeters, in length, but some medicinal leeches reach 8 in, 20 centimeters. The giant of all leeches is the Amazonian Hemantiria gilanii, from the Greek term hymateros. Meaning bloody, which reaches 12 in, 30 centimeters, in length. What is a daddy long legs?
The name applies to two different kinds of invertebrates. The first is a harmless, non-bidding, long-legged arachnid. Also called a harvestman, it is often mistaken for a spider. But it lacks the segmented body shape that a spider has. Although it has the same number of legs, eight. As a spider, the harvestman's legs are far longer and thinner. These very long legs enable it to raise its body high enough to avoid ants or other small enemies. Harvestmen are largely carnivorous. Feeding on a variety of small invertebrates such as insects, spiders, and mites. They never spin webs as spiders do. They also eat some juicy plants and in captivity can be fed almost anything edible. From bread and milk to meat. Harvestmen also need to drink frequently. The term daddy long legs also is used for a crane fly a thin bodied insect with long thin legs that has a snout like proboscis with which it sucks water and nectar. What are the most common tapeworm infections in humans? Tapeworms, members of the class Cestida, have long flat bodies in which there is a linear series of sets of reproductive organs. Each set or segment is called a proglottid. What is the name of the bird that perches on the black rhinoceros's back? The bird, a relative of the starling, is called an oxpecker, a member of the Sternidae family. Found only in Africa, the yellow-billed oxpecker, Bufagus africanus wingspan, is widespread over much of western and central Africa, while the red-billed oxpecker, Bufagus erythroinkus wingspan, lives in eastern Africa from the Red Sea to Natal. 7 to 8 in, 17 to 20 centimeters, long with a coffee brown body. The oxpecker feeds on more than 20 species of ticks that live in the height of the black rhinoceros. Dicerus bicornis, also called the hook-lipped rhino. The bird spends most of its time on the rhinoceros or on other animals. Such as the antelope, zebra, giraffe, or buffalo. The bird has even been known to roost on the body of its host. The relationship between the oxpecker and the rhinoceros is called mutualism. The bird feeds on the rhinoceros's ticks benefiting both the bird and the rhinoceros. In addition, the oxpecker, having much better eyesight than the nearsighted rhinoceros, alerts its host with its shrill cries and flight when danger approaches. What are the three major groups of chordates? The chordates are divided into three subphyla, tunicata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. Tunicates are like little leathery bags that are either free-living or attached to pilings, rocks, and seaweeds. 
They are also called sea squirts because a disturbed animal may contract and shoot streams of water from both of its siphons. The subphylum cephalochordata contains the amphioxus or lancelet, branchiostoma, which looks like a small fish and has the three chaudate features as an adult. Amphioxus also shows clear serial segmentation or metamerism. From the Greek terms meta, meaning between, among, after, and miros, meaning part. It is divided lengthwise into a series of muscle segments. Vertebrates, which comprise the third chaudate subphylum. Retain the same metamerism in internal structures. Why are sea urchins used to study embryonic development? Sea urchins are a useful model system for studying many problems in early animal development. Historically, sea urchins were a key system in elucidating a variety of classic developmental problems, including the mechanisms of fertilization, egg activation, cleavage, gastrulation, and the regulation of differentiation in the early embryo. In addition, early studies of the molecular basis of early embryology were carried out in this system. Gametes can be obtained easily, sterility is not required. And the eggs and early embryos of many species are beautifully transparent. The early development of sea urchin embryos is also highly synchronous that is. When a batch of eggs is fertilized, all of the resulting embryos typically develop on the same schedule. Making possible biochemical and molecular studies of early embryos. What are the major groups of echinoderms? There are six principal groups of echinoderms, from the Greek terms echina, meaning spiny, and derma, meaning skin 1, class crinoidea, sea lilies, and feather stars, 2, class asteroidea, sea stars, 3, class ophiuroidea, basket stars, and brittle stars, 4, class echinoidea. Sea urchins and sand dollars, 5, class holothuroidea, sea cucumbers, and 6, class concentricycloidea. Sea daisies, which live on waterlogged wood in the deep sea and were first discovered in 1986. What was the typical lifespan of dinosaurs? The lifespan has been estimated at 75 to 300 years. Such estimates are educated guesses. From examination of the microstructure of dinosaur bones. Scientists have inferred that dinosaurs matured slowly and probably had proportionately long lifespans. What are giant tube worms? These worms were discovered near the hydrothermal, hot water. 
ocean vents in 1977 when the submersible Alvin was exploring the ocean floor of the Galapagos Ridge. Located 1.5 miles 2.4 kilometers below the Pacific Ocean surface and 200 miles 322 kilometers from the Galapagos Islands. Growing to lengths of 5 feet 1.5 meters, Riptia pacoptila jones. Named after worm expert Meredith Jones of the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. Lack both mouth and gut and are topped with feathery plumes composed of over 200,000 tiny tentacles. The phenomenal growth of these worms is due to their internal food source symbiotic bacteria. Over 100 billion per ounce of tissue, that live within the worm's troposome tissues. To these troposome tissues, the tube worms transport absorbed oxygen from the water. Together with carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Utilizing this supply. The bacteria in turn produce carbohydrates and proteins that the worms need to thrive. What is the origin of the name Hydra? Hydra, a well-known member of phylum Nidaria is a tiny 0.4 in or 1 cm in length, organism found in freshwater ponds. It exists as a single polyp that sits on a basal disc that it uses to glide around. It can also move by somersaulting. It usually has 6 to 10 tentacles, which it uses to capture food. Hydras reproduce both sexually and asexually, budding. Hydras are named after the multi-headed monster of Greek mythology. That was able to grow two new heads for each head cut off. When a hydra is cut into several pieces. Each piece is able to regrow all the missing parts and become a whole animal. How numerous are roundworms? Roundworms, or nematodes, are members of the phylum nematoda, from the Greek term nematos, meaning thread, and are numerous in two respects. 1. Number of known and potential species, and 2. The total number of these organisms in a habitat. Approximately 12,000 species of nematodes have been named but it has been estimated that if all species were known, the number would be closer to 500. 000 nematodes live in a variety of habitats ranging from the sea to soil. 6 cubic inches, 100 cubic centimeters, of soil may contain several thousand nematodes. A square yard. 0.85 square meter, of woodland or agricultural soil may contain several million of them. Good topsoil may contain billions of nematodes per acre. Why did dinosaurs become extinct? There are many theories as to why dinosaurs disappeared from Earth about 65 million years ago. 
scientists debate whether dinosaurs became extinct gradually or all at once. The gradualists believe that the dinosaur population steadily declined at the end of the Cretaceous period. Numerous reasons have been proposed for this. Some claim the dinosaur's extinction was caused by biological changes that made them less competitive with other organisms. Especially the mammals that were just beginning to appear. Overpopulation has been argued, as has the theory that mammals ate so. Many dinosaur eggs that dinosaur reproduction was irrevocably harmed. Others believe that disease everything from rickets to constipation wiped the dinosaurs out. Changes in climate, continental drift, volcanic eruptions, and shifts in Earth's axis. Orbit, and slash or magnetic field have also been held responsible. The catastrophists argue that a single disastrous event caused the extinction not only of the dinosaurs but also of a large number of other species that coexisted with them. In 1980 the American physicist Luis Alvarez, 1911-1988, and his geologist son Walter Alvarez, 1940, proposed that a large comet or meteoroid struck Earth 65 million years ago. They pointed out that there is a high concentration of the element iridium in the sediments at the boundary between the Cretaceous and Tertiary periods. Iridium is rare on Earth, so the only source of such a large amount of it had to be outer space. This iridium anomaly has since been discovered at over 50 sites around the world. In 1990 tiny glass fragments, which could have been caused by the extreme heat of an impact, were identified in Haiti. A 110 miles 177 kilometers wide crater in the Yucatan Peninsula, long covered by sediments, has been dated to 64.98 million years ago, making it a leading candidate for the site of this impact. A hit by a large extraterrestrial object, perhaps as much as 6 miles 9.3 kilometers wide, would have had a catastrophic effect upon the world's climate. Huge amounts of dust and debris would have been thrown into the atmosphere. Reducing the amount of sunlight reaching the surface. Heat from the blast may also have caused large forest fires, which would have added smoke and ash to the air. Lack of sunlight would kill off plants and have a domino-like effect on other organisms in the food chain, including the dinosaurs. It is possible that the reason for the dinosaurs' extinction may have been a combination of both theories. The dinosaurs may have been gradually declining, for whatever reason. The impact of a large object from space merely delivered the coup de grace. The fact that dinosaurs became extinct has been cited as proof of their inferiority and that they were evolutionary failures. However, these animals flourished for 150 million years. By comparison, the earliest ancestors of humanity appeared only about 3 million years ago. Humans have a long way to go before they can claim the same sort of success as the dinosaurs. What are the major groups of segmented worms?
members of the phylum Anlida, the segmented worms. Have bilateral symmetry and a tubular body that may have 100 to 175 ring-like segments. The three classes of segmented worms are, 1, polychaeta, the sandworms, and tube worms. 2, oligochaeta, the earthworms, and 3, hirudinia, the leeches. In what ways are earthworms beneficial? Earthworms help maintain fertile soil. An earthworm literally eats its way through soil and decaying vegetation. As it moves about, the soil is turned, aerated, and enriched by nitrogenous wastes. Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, calculated that a single earthworm could eat its own weight in soil every day. Much of what is eaten is then excreted on the earth's surface in the form of casts. The worms then rebury these casts with their burrowing process. In addition, Darwin claimed that 2.5 acres, 1 hectare, of soil might contain 155,000 earthworms, which in one year would bring 18 tons of soil to the surface and in 20 years might build a new layer 3 in, 11 centimeters, thick. What are the major features shown by all vertebrates? Animals in the subphylum vertebrata are distinguished from other chordates by several features. Most prominent is the endoskeleton of bone or cartilage. Centering around the vertebral column, spine or backbone. Composed of separate vertebrae, showing internal metamerism. A vertebral column combines flexibility with enough strength to support even a large body. Other vertebrate features include, 1, complex dorsal kidneys, 2, a tail, lost via evolution in some groups. Extending between the anus, 3, a closed circulatory systems with a single, well-developed heart. Four a brain at the anterior end of the spinal cord, with ten or more pairs of cranial nerves. 5. A cranium, skull, protecting the brain. 6. Paired sex organs in both males and females. And 7. Two pairs of movable appendages fins in the fishes, which evolved into legs in land vertebrates. What was the first group of vertebrates? The first vertebrates were fishes that appeared 500 million years ago. They were agnathans, from the Greek terms a, meaning without, and nath, meaning jaw, small. Jawless fishes up to about 8 in, 20 centimeters, long and also known as ostracoderms, shell skin. Because their bodies were covered with bony plates, most notably a head shield protecting the brain. Did dinosaurs and humans ever coexist? No. 
Dinosaurs first appeared in the Triassic period, about 220 million years ago. And disappeared at the end of the Cretaceous period, about 65 million years ago. Modern humans, Homo sapiens, appeared only about 25,000 years ago. Movies that show humans and dinosaurs existing together are only Hollywood fantasies. Is coral bleaching related to changes in the environment? Although corals can capture prey, many tropical species are dependent on photosynthetic algae, zooxanthellae, for nutrition. These algae live within the cells that line the digestive cavity of the coral. The symbiotic relationship between coral and zooxanthellae is mutually beneficial. The algae provide the coral with oxygen and carbon and nitrogen compounds. The coral supplies the algae with ammonia, waste product. From which the algae make nitrogenous compounds for both partners. Coral bleaching is the stress-induced loss of colorful algae, zooxanthellae, that live in coral cells. In coral bleaching the algae lose their pigmentation or are expelled from coral cells. Without the algae, coral become malnourished and die. The causes of coral bleaching are not completely understood. But it is believed that environmental factors are involved. Pollution, invasive bacteria such as Vibrio, Salinity changes, temperature changes, and high concentrations of ultraviolet radiation. Associated with the destruction of the ozone layer, all contribute to coral bleaching. What is the largest group of vertebrates? The largest group of vertebrates is fishes. They are a diverse group and include almost 21. 000 species more than all other kinds of vertebrates combined. Most members of this group are osteocytes, or bony fishes, which include bases, trout, and salmon. When was the bald eagle adopted as the national bird of the United States? On June 20, 1782, the citizens of the newly independent United States of America adopted the bald or American eagle as their national emblem. At first the heraldic 268 artists depicted a bird that could have been a member of any of the larger species. But by 1902 the bird portrayed on the seal of the United States of America had assumed its proper white plumage on head and tail. The choice of the bald eagle was not unanimous, Benjamin Franklin, 1706 to 1790, preferred the wild turkey. Oftentimes a tongue-in-cheek humorist, Franklin thought the turkey a wily but brave, intelligent and prudent bird. He viewed the eagle on the other hand as having a bad moral character and not getting his living honestly. Preferring instead to steal fish from hard-working fish hawks. 
He also found the eagle a coward who readily flees from. The irritating attacks of the much smaller king bird. What is the most famous roundworm? One soil nematode, Sonorabditus elegans, is widely cultured and has become a model research organism in developmental biology. The study of this animal was begun in 1963 by Sidney Brenner. 1927, who received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2002. The species normally lives in soil but is easily grown in the laboratory in petri dishes. It is only about 0.06 in 1.5 millimeters long, has a simple Transparent body consisting of only 959 cells, and grows from zygote to mature adult in only three and a half days. The genome, genetic material, of C. Elegans, consisting of 14,000 genes, was the first animal genome to be completely mapped and sequenced. The small transparent body of this nematode allows researchers to locate cells in which a specific developmentally important gene is active. These cells show up as bright green spots in a photograph because they have been genetically engineered to produce a green fluorescent protein known as GFP. The complete wiring diagram of its nervous system is known, including all the neurons and all connections between them. Much of the knowledge of nematode genetics and development gained from the study of C. Elegans is transferable to the study of other animals. How long have cockroaches been on the earth? The earliest cockroach fossils are about 280 million years old. Cockroaches, order Dictyoptera, are nocturnal scavenging insects that Eat not only human food but book bindings, ink, and whitewash as well. In what year was the European starling, Sternus vulgans wingspan, imported into the United States? Eugene Schieffelin, 1826-1906, imported the European starling into the United States in 1890. Schieffelin wanted to establish in the United States every bird found in Shakespeare's works. He also imported English sparrows to New York City in 1860. In what year was the European starling, Sternus vulgans wingspan, imported into the United States? Eugene Schieffelin, 1826-1906, imported the European starling into the United States in 1890. Schieffelin wanted to establish in the United States every bird found in Shakespeare's works. He also imported English sparrows to New York City in 1860.
Will wild birds reject baby birds that have been touched by humans? No. Contrary to popular belief, birds generally will not reject hatchlings touched by human hands. The best thing to do for newborn birds that have fallen or have been pushed out of the nest is to locate the nest as quickly as possible and gently put them back. Will wild birds reject baby birds that have been touched by humans? No. Contrary to popular belief, birds generally will not reject hatchlings touched by human hands. The best thing to do for newborn birds that have fallen or have been pushed out of the nest is to locate the nest as quickly as possible and gently put them back. What freshwater mammal is venomous? The male duck billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus has venomous spurs located on its hind legs. When threatened, the animal will drive the spurs into the skin of a potential enemy, inflicting a painful sting. The venom this action releases is relatively mild and generally not harmful to humans. What freshwater mammal is venomous? The male duck billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, has venomous spurs located on its hind legs. When threatened, the animal will drive the spurs into the skin of a potential enemy. Inflicting a painful sting. The venom this action releases is relatively mild and generally not harmful to humans. What is the difference between porpoises and dolphins? Marine dolphins, family Delphinidae, and porpoises, family Phocinidae, together comprise about 40 species. The chief differences between dolphins and porpoises occur in the snout and teeth. True dolphins have a beak-like snout and cone-shaped teeth. True porpoises have a rounded snout and flat or spade-shaped teeth. What is the difference between porpoises and dolphins? Marine dolphins, family Delphinidae, and porpoises, family Phocinidae, together comprise about 40 species. The chief differences between dolphins and porpoises occur in the snout and teeth. True dolphins have a beak-like snout and cone-shaped teeth. True porpoises have a rounded snout and flat or spade-shaped teeth. How do the great whales compare in weight and length? What is the fastest swimming whale?
The orca or killer whale, or sinus orca, is the fastest swimming whale. In fact, it is the fastest swimming marine mammal with speeds that reach 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour. How do the great whales compare in weight and length? What is the fastest swimming whale? The orca or killer whale, or sinus orca, is the fastest swimming whale. In fact, it is the fastest swimming marine mammal with speeds that reach 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour. What is the name of the seal-like animal in Florida? The West Indian manatee, Trechus manatus, in the winter, moves to more temperate parts of Florida, such as the warm headwaters of the Crystal and Homosa Sa. 271 rivers in central Florida or the tropical waters of southern Florida. When the air temperature rises to 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius. It will wander back along the Gulf Coast and up the Atlantic Coast as far as Virginia. Long-range offshore migrations to the coast of Guiana and South America have been documented. In 1983, when the population of manatees in Florida was reduced to several thousand, the state gave it legal protection from being hunted or commercially exploited. However, many animals continue to be killed or injured by the encroachment of humans. Entrapment in locks and dams, collisions with barges and power boat propellers. And so on cause at least 30% of manatee deaths, which total 125 to 130 annually. What is the name of the seal-like animal in Florida? The West Indian manatee, Trechus manatus, in the winter, moves to more temperate parts of Florida, such as the warm headwaters of the Crystal and Homosa Sa. 271 rivers in central Florida or the tropical waters of southern Florida. When the air temperature rises to 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius. It will wander back along the Gulf Coast and up the Atlantic Coast as far as Virginia. Long-range offshore migrations to the coast of Guiana and South America have been documented. In 1983, when the population of manatees in Florida was reduced to several thousand, the state gave it legal protection from being hunted or commercially exploited. However, many animals continue to be killed or injured by the encroachment of humans. Entrapment in locks and dams, collisions with barges and power boat propellers and so on cause at least 30% of manatee deaths, which total 125 to 130 annually. What is the only four-horned animal in the world?
The four-horned antelope, Tetracerus quadricornis, is a native of central India. The males have two short horns, usually four in, ten centimeters, in length, between their ears. And an even shorter pair, one to two in, 2.5 to 5 centimeters, long, between the brow ridges over their eyes. Not all males have four horns. And in some the second pair eventually falls off. The females have no horns at all. What is the only four-horned animal in the world? The four-horned antelope, Tetracerus quadricornis, is a native of central India. The males have two short horns, usually four in, ten centimeters, in length, between their ears. And an even shorter pair, one to two in, 2.5 to 5 centimeters, long, between the brow ridges over their eyes. Not all males have four horns. And in some the second pair eventually falls off. The females have no horns at all. Is there a cat that lives in the desert? The sand cat, Felis margarita, is the only member of the cat family tied directly to desert regions. Found in the deserts of North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Western Pakistan, the sand cat has adapted to extremely arid desert areas. The padding on the solace of its feet is well suited to the loose sandy soil. And it can live without drinking freestanding water. Having sandy or grayish ochre dense fur, its body length is 17.5 to 22 in, 45 to 57 centimeters. Mainly nocturnal, active at night, the cat feeds on rodents, hares, birds, and reptiles. The Chinese desert cat, Felis biety, does not live in the desert as its name implies. But inhabits the steppe country and mountains. Likewise, the Asiatic desert cat, Fela sylvestris ornata, inhabits the open plains of India, Pakistan, Iran, and Asiatic Russia. Is there a cat that lives in the desert? The sand cat, Felis margarita, is the only member of the cat family tied directly to desert regions. Found in the deserts of North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and western Pakistan, the sand cat has adapted to extremely arid desert areas. The padding on the solace of its feet is well suited to the loose sandy soil. And it can live without drinking freestanding water. Having sandy or grayish ochre dense fur, its body length is 17.5 to 22 in, 45 to 57 centimeters. Mainly nocturnal, active at night, the cat feeds on rodents, hares, birds, and reptiles. The Chinese desert cat, Felis biety, does not live in the desert as its name implies. 
but inhabits the steppe country and mountains. Likewise, the Asiatic desert cat, Fela silvestris ornata, inhabits the open plains of India, Pakistan, Iran, and Asiatic Russia. What is the only American canine that can climb trees? The gray fox, Eurocean scenario Argentus, is the only American canine that can climb trees. What is the only American canine that can climb trees? The gray fox, Eurocean scenario Argentus, is the only American canine that can climb trees. Which bear lives in a tropical rainforest? The Malayan sun bear, Ursus malayanus, is one of the rarest animals in the tropical forests of Sumatra. The Malay Peninsula, Borneo, Burma, Thailand, and southern China. The smallest bear species, with a length of 3.3 to 4.6 feet, 1 to 1.4 m. And weighing 60 to 143 pounds, 27 to 65 kilograms, it has a strong, stocky body. Against its black, short fur it has a characteristic orange-yellow colored crescent across its chest. Which according to legend represents the rising sun. With powerful paws having long. Curved claws to help it climb trees in the dense forests, it is an expert tree climber. The sun bear tears at tree bark to expose insects, larvae, and the nests of bees and termites. Fruit, coconut palms, and small rodents are also part of its diet. Sleeping and sunbathing during the day, it is active at night. Unusually shy and retiring, cautious, and intelligent. The sun bear is declining in population as its native forests are being destroyed. Which bear lives in a tropical rainforest? The Malayan sun bear, Ursus malayanus, is one of the rarest animals in the tropical forests of Sumatra. The Malay Peninsula, Borneo, Burma, Thailand, and southern China. The smallest bear species, with a length of 3.3 to 4.6 feet, 1 to 1.4 m. And weighing 60 to 143 pounds, 27 to 65 kilograms, it has a strong, stocky body. Against its black, short fur it has a characteristic orange-yellow colored crescent across its chest. Which according to legend represents the rising sun. With powerful paws having long. Curved claws to help it climb trees in the dense forests, it is an expert tree climber. The sun bear tears at tree bark to expose insects, larvae, and the nests of bees and termites. Fruit, coconut palms, and small rodents are also part of its diet. Sleeping and sunbathing during the day, 
it is active at night. Unusually shy and retiring, cautious and intelligent. The sun bear is declining in population as its native forests are being destroyed. What is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America? The bison, bison bison, is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America. It weighs 3,100 pounds 1,406 kilograms and is 6 feet 1.8 meters high. What is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America? The bison, bison bison, is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America. It weighs 3,100 pounds 1,406 kilograms and is 6 feet 1.8 meters high. Do camels store water in their humps? The hump or humps do not store water, since they are fat reservoirs. The ability to go long periods without drinking water, up to 10 months if there is plenty. Of green vegetation and due to feed on, results from a number of physiological adaptations. One major factor is that camels can lose up to 40% of their body weight with no ill effects. A camel can also withstand a variation of its body temperature by as much as 14 degrees Fahrenheit 8 degrees Celsius. A camel can drink 30 gallons, 113.5 liters of water in 10 minutes and up to 50 gallons, 189 liters, over several hours. A one hump camel is called a dromedary or Arabian camel. A Bactrian camel has two humps and lives in the wild on the Goba Desert. Today, the Bactrian is confined to Asia, while most of the Arabian camels are on African soil. Do camels store water in their humps? The hump or humps do not store water, since they are fat reservoirs. The ability to go long periods without drinking water, up to 10 months if there is plenty. Of green vegetation and due to feed on, results from a number of physiological adaptations. One major factor is that camels can lose up to 40% of their body weight with no ill effects. A camel can also withstand a variation of its body temperature by as much as 14 degrees Fahrenheit 8 degrees Celsius. A camel can drink 30 gallons, 113.5 liters of water in 10 minutes and up to 50 gallons, 189 liters, over several hours. A one hump camel is called a dromedary or Arabian camel. A Bactrian camel has two humps and lives in the wild on the Goba Desert. Today, the Bactrian is confined to Asia, while most of the Arabian camels are on African soil.
How do the great whales compare in weight and length? What is the fastest swimming whale? The orca or killer whale, or sinus orca, is the fastest swimming whale. In fact, it is the fastest swimming marine mammal with speeds that reach 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour. What were the smallest and largest dinosaurs? Compsognathus, a carnivore from the late Jurassic period, 131 million years ago. Was about the size of a chicken and measured, at most, 35 in, 89 centimeters, from the tip of its snout to the tip of its tail. The average weight was about 6.8 pounds 3 kilograms, but individuals could be as much as 15 pounds 6.8 kilograms. The largest species for which a whole skeleton is known is Brachiosaurus. A specimen in Humboldt Museum in Berlin measures 72.75 feet 22.2 meters long and 46 feet 14 meters high. It weighed an estimated 34.7 tons, 31,480 kilograms. Brachiosaurus was a four-footed plant-eating dinosaur with a long neck and tail and lived from about 155 to 131 million years ago. What is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America? The bison, bison bison, is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America. It weighs 3,100 pounds 1,406 kilograms and is 6 feet 1.8 meters high. What has been the impact of zebra mussels on North American waterways? Zebra mussels, Dryasina polymorpha, are black and white striped bivalve mollusks. They are hard-shelled species that adhere to hard surfaces with bissel threads. They were probably introduced to North America in 1985 or 1986 via discharge of a foreign ship's ballast water into Lake St. Clair. They have spread throughout the Great Lakes. The Mississippi River, and as far east as the Hudson River. High densities of zebra mussels have been found in the intakes, pipes, and heat exchangers of waterways throughout the world. They can clog the water intakes of power plants, industrial sites, and public drinking water systems. Foul boat hulls and engine cooling water systems. And disrupt aquatic ecosystems. Water processing facilities must be cleaned manually to rid the systems of the mussels. Zebra mussels are a threat to surface water resources because they reproduce quickly. Have free swimming larvae and rapid growth, lack competitors for space or food, and have no predators. What general characteristics do all fishes have in common?
All fishes have the following characteristics, 1, gills that extract oxygen from water. 2, an internal skeleton with a skin that surrounds the dorsal nerve cord, 3, single loop blood circulation in which the blood is pumped from the heart to the gills and then to the rest of the body before returning to the heart. 4. Nutritional deficiencies, particularly some amino acids that must be consumed and cannot be synthesized. How many tentacles do the cephalopods have? Octopods have eight tentacles or arms, squids have ten tentacles. And there are as many as ninety in the chambered nautilus. What group of animals was the first to make a partial transition from water to land? Amphibians have made a partial transition to terrestrial life. The living amphibians include newts, salamanders, frogs, and toads. Although lungfish made a partial transition to living out of the water. Amphibians were the first to struggle onto land and become adapted to a life of breathing air while not constantly surrounded by water. How many kinds of sharks are there and how many are dangerous? The United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization lists 354 species of sharks. Ranging in length from 6 in, 15 centimeters, to 49 feet 15 meters. While 35 species are known to have attacked humans at least once. Only a dozen do so on a regular basis. The relatively rare great white shark, Carcharodon carcharias, is the largest predatory fish. The largest specimen accurately measured was 20 feet, 4 in, 6.2 m long and weighed 5,000 pounds 2,270 kilograms. Why are leeches important in the field of medicine? The medical leech, Hirudo medicinalis is used to remove blood that has accumulated within tissues as a result of injury or disease. Leeches have also been applied to fingers or toes that have been surgically reattached to the body. The sucking by the leech unclogs small blood vessels, permitting blood to flow normally again through the body part. The leech releases hirudin, secreted by the salivary glands which is an anticoagulant that prevents blood from clotting and dissolves pre-existing clots other salivary ingredients dilate blood vessels and act as an anesthetic a medicinal leech can absorb as much as five to ten times its body weight in blood Complete digestion of this blood takes a long time. And these leeches feed only once or twice a year in this manner. What are the major groups of mollusks?
there are four major groups of mollusks, 1, chitons, 2, gastropods. Which includes nails, slugs, and nudibranchs, 3, bivalves, which include clams. Oysters and mussels, and 4, cephalopods, which include squids and octopods. Although mollusks vary widely in external appearance, most share the following body plan, 1, a muscular foot, usually used for movement, 2, a visceral mass containing most of the internal organs, and 3, a mantle fold of tissue that drapes over the visceral mass and secretes a shell, in organisms that have a shell. What is the heaviest invertebrate? The giant clam, Tridacna maxima, is the heaviest invertebrate. It may weigh as much as 122 pounds 270 kilograms. The shells of this bivalve may be as long as 5 feet 1.5 meters. How fast does a snail move? Many snails move at a speed of less than 3 in, 8 centimeters, per minute. This means that if a snail did not stop to rest or eat, it could travel 16 feet 4.8 meters per hour. Are freshwater clams an endangered group? Although freshwater clams are found on every continent except Antarctica, they are now considered one of the most jeopardized groups of animals in the world. Approximately 270 species belong to the family Unionidae, found in North America. A total of 72% of our 270 native mussel species are listed as recently extinct. Endangered, threatened, or of special concern due to human impact on aquatic habitat, commercial harvesting. The introduction of carp, water pollution, and the invasion of zebra mussels. How long have leeches been used for medicinal purposes? Leeches have been used in the practice of medicine since ancient times. During the 1800s leeches were widely used for bloodletting because of the mistaken idea that body disorders and fevers were caused by an excess of blood. Leech collecting and culture were practiced on a commercial scale during this time. William Wordsworth's 1770 to 1850, poem The Leech Gatherer was based on this use of leeches. What is the only four horned animal in the world? The four horned antelope. Tetracerus quadricornis, is a native of central India. The males have two short horns, usually four in, ten centimeters, in length, between their ears. And an even shorter pair, one to two in, 2.5 to five centimeters, long, 
between the brow ridges over their eyes. Not all males have four horns. And in some the second pair eventually falls off. The females have no horns at all.